Hi guys, it's Rachel here. I tried to do this video before we've had a bit of um, a bit. Um, so uh, I did start the video. I thought it was my sister calling, but it was actually my mum. Um, so I'll just do the video again. I'm a bit um, distracted now, I must say. So I wanted to work on these. I'll show you these in a second. Uh, and I wanted to let you know, I have um, had, I had asked Jaff if it was okay um, if I if it if I um, put some digital kits with my scanned doilies because they were so um, had turned out so well and she said that's um, she's very happy for me to do that so I have put two in in my shop and um, that you'll get a PDF file um, which is about 23 pages one might be 22 I can't remember um, but there's 15 different papers in each one and the, with the PDF some people prefer to have a PDF so this is a printout of kit one um, with the PDF um, so I've done it in two sizes like so so um, yeah that the I'm sorry I'm really a bit um, blabbering now um, yes they're done two sizes and then uh, full page that's it uh, well as full page as I could manage to get them without distorting them so that's how they'll print out in the PDF but then you also get the zip files with the JPEGs and I like to print from the JPEGs because I like the colors more how they print on my printer some printers are different um, and I so I really love um, the colors of these they where they were like sometimes a little bit more grungy they've come out very soft and pretty a lot of them um, so this is kit two so I'll show you kit one. I, should, I guess I'll flip it over so you can see the big ones. I'll show you kit one quickly. Um, I put in all of my favorites. I'll probably end up having, I don't even know if I'm showing you. Um, you'll have to forgive me. This is going to be a wacko video um, in Rachel style because I'm totally distracted now. Um, so these are the, this is kit one. And some of them, I put, it, I put a mix in of the darker color ones and then the lighter color ones. So you get a nice variety love these I just oh it's just amazing I mean I I keep saying it but I just can't believe the cleverness of Jaff and here so here you've kind of got um, second hand really um, impressions here in the sense that I had the doily then a, the piece of paper that was supposed to get the impression then this paper I can't remember if the this paper doily was over the top that you can see here or under it um, but then some of the plastic doily came through from the other paper underneath, if that makes sense. So you get these very soft impressions. They're really wonderful in here as well. Um, I did do some, not in these ones, peaks and valleys as well, as Jaff said, and they turned out really interesting. Now those kind of ones turn out a little bit more uh, grungy in the sense that you have some more, many more darker bits. Um, this was not done. This was done... Um, the regular way where you dip it in and then I put the doilies on and baked it in the oven um, and then they the, it was interesting also with each batch the color you know with each even layer the color could be quite different as well so um, I put in these are all like lots of my favorites I have so many I'll probably end up having more kits and I do have some that are so oh there's yeah I love that I do have some that are probably more grungy but they have really amazing patterns and um, I may like I would probably put those most of those in one kit so that way if someone doesn't like grunge they don't get the grungy grungies if you know what I mean anyway I love this is kit too I love all the sort of it looks like it's crackled but it's not and that's the impression from the doily and then this one here looks like a fresco to me that's coming off the wall um, this was not kit um, Jaff's technique this was just done in the oven but I really liked I think this was on the baking paper and in the baking paper was a little bit um, sort of prickly if you know what I mean like and it made these sort of patterns I, and I had squirted it afterwards so I really love these these and and what I like would like to do you can see little paper doilies here and um, what I would like to do there's the plastic doily there um, with these is I like to print them when I print out a, a sort of pattern image on one side for a journal then I like to print something on the back that can be more used more as a background or somewhere that you can write this is one of my favorites 
um, and also oh, I love that one as well they're just so pretty and the colors they the way they print out is really amazing here's the paper doily and plastic doily and there's a bit of that knitting and then another doily and then I love these how these two these look to me like they're really old just amazing and then oh this one has two tags now um, these tags I printed two to a page um, and the smaller version uh, you could print them bigger two to a page and you could even use them as journal covers It'd be really cool to make a little mini journal with them or anything really so yeah so that's the two kits there will be more coming I just have to finish scanning I have a huge pile to scan I want to scan them also for myself because um, I am going to be hoarding them for a while and um, yes yeah, so I don't think I can use them so anyway let's get on to this I've got those all printed out I've got them in a folder I put it over here I've got my two boxes of folders here um, of digital kits and I haven't got too much on my desk so hopefully I don't become crowded and so I'll just show you quickly this was my recording yes because I was having trouble with my iPad as well um, this is the shabby dabby doodah one I've done the inside because otherwise it was just going to take me too long and I need to get these out um, so this is the shabby dabby doodah and I've got to make some ephemera and that one will be done and I absolutely love 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 the way this turned out super pretty kit Tina thank you um, and then this is the first one I did and that's got original doily on it and um, coffee dyed doily and this is medieval mirage and that's a pocket I have to remember that I put some lace there you didn't see me do that I add I mentioned in when I did the video that I needed to put something there and that you saw all of that I think on video and um, I've only got some paper in there so I've got to decorate inside that and we'll do that hopefully today and um, and then um, this is the third one now I did this off screen um, after I'd finished um, packaging up some things yesterday so I wanted to do this one so this is a bit more medieval mirage and the medieval mirage type papers the you know coffee dyed papers this is more uh, I want a Tracy Fox one of course it's Tracy's idea and I felt I needed to pay homage to her so um, I'm, of course I can't stick to one kit they're all mixed up um, and so there these are all Tracy and then this is one of my labels because I've run out of Tracy's labels I need to reprint them and actually in when I had previously videoed this and now I've deleted it um, I just had stuck this down here this is one of Tracy's envelopes and that's actually Screech Owl Studio it's one of her pages and I just printed it on the inside so I didn't have a you know it wasn't white that's all it was um, and I'm going to leave that open and um because it's so pretty i didn't want to cover that up and and then i decorated here with all tracy and a little bit of my um, coffee dyed doilies and a label there so i need to do inside and i had started um i just keep an eye on my telephone just in case i get a phone call um i shouldn't but i'm just making taking this paper and it's going to go on the inside and um and i'll probably oh i did see a video by wendy yesterday that i really loved wendy if you watch i know you're at your cottage and you've got your grandkids or am i late i watch my videos a bit late so i don't know whether i'm late with what's going on in people's lives um but she did those flippy over um envelopes they were good however i don't think i can i, I was thinking i wonder if i had a place to do them here but then they not really I don't think because I don't think these pages would hold it so well I'm not sure but anyway um, I need to get cracking now because I've had a few phone calls and um, and then I have to go and get Lulu from the swimming pool now I was telling you some funny things what was I telling you oh yeah I decided to um, as I haven't really been out this summer at all like I, as you know I had a disastrous trip down to the beach with my husband and our friend from Modena um, that I really did not enjoy well I kind of enjoyed it it was entertaining but you know it wasn't the best um, so I've been feeling a bit vampiresque in the sense that all I've been I've been inside the whole time and you know I didn't even go out this weekend with my husband he went off swimming by himself and I felt really bad and I feel starting to feel like you know there's I need to get out so um, I said to Lulu I woke Lulu up yesterday morning and I said Lulu 
Would you feel like coming down to the beach and having a swim? It's very hot outside. It's only eight o'clock, but what about if we do an Aussie thing and go for a swim at the beach, have an early morning swim? So she leapt out of bed. Yes, mum, let's do that. Because she's, she, I told her off because all she does is lie in her room. And um, if, if I go out, she doesn't want to go out. And um, But only if, it, if she's going to buy something and that sort of thing. And I'd had a bit of a, a meltdown at her the other day. Let her have it. Um, and so she's thought about it and she realizes she said but all you do is work and I'm like well I have to work it's like if I was in an office I wouldn't even be at home um, so um, I said but you know like there are little occasions where I wanted her to come to Ikea with me and she wants to do a few things in her room so I thought it was a good opportunity for her to come to Ikea and um, she could have had a look at a few things for her room um, and that was my answer so I let I really got upset because I was like well it's not right that you just want to go out when you want to go and buy something you want me to buy you something or some clothing or something and oh yes let's go but if if it's you know something for me anyway she felt bad she apologized and so anyway we, long story short we went to the beach and um, I said my husband said where are you two going because we left even before he did and I said I'm going to the beach he said no you never go to the beach and I said well I'm feeling like being a bit of an Aussie and having an early morning swim and starting my day off with a swim and you know, I, I, I don't know if all Aussies do that, but, but we did when we were, you know, when I was at school, when my friend got her driver's license, because she was a bit older than me, um, before school, we'd go down, at, go, go down to the beach and have a swim and, um, and then go to school. It was a great way to start the day. It's a little bit small, but I could put something down there. Um, and so, so yeah, I thought, well, let's just do that. Let's go down at eight o'clock in the morning and have a swim because also the water here I told you the sand is brown and the water just becomes brown and it's gross and it's not very inviting and I only like to go to the beach to have a swim and feel refreshed and invigorated and so anyway so we got to the beach and Lulu was crying laughing because I said to her I need to go out and get some vitamin D I'm getting old I need to get my vitamin D I don't have any vitamin I probably don't have any vitamin D in my bones so let's go to the beach and I'll get some vitamin D as well early in the morning well, did you know there was a, a thin layer of clouds? I mean, you could see the sun, but there was a thin layer of crowds and clouds. And I said, wouldn't you know, decided to leave the house to get my vitamin D and there's a thin layer of clouds. How about that? Wouldn't that be right? Anyway, we went for a swim. It was beautiful. Loved it. We had a great time. So we went back today. Even this morning, we went and had an early morning swim. And <laughs> so funny, all the, all the grannies and grandpas are out in the morning that early and um, and so I actually really liked it because I didn't have to feel self-conscious because I am luminous white because I haven't been in the sun and um, and that you know Italians go super dark chocolate brown they do they tan themselves till there's n no more room for tanning and um, I'm going to put a side pocket here I think and so, yeah, I feel sometimes feel a bit self-conscious because literally um, Lulu said, you can be the sunshine, mum, you're that white. <laughs> anyway, um, so we had a night, we had a walk in the water because it's quite shallow. And so we got a bit of exercise and, uh, and we had a really nice swim and it just felt so good and Lulu loved it. So we went again this morning, but we're not going to go tomorrow. We'll have a day off. Um, it's stressful for madam with the hair cleaning process so <laughs> but I told her we're going to go on Thursday and Friday because it's a very nice way to start the day and Lulu really it was a nice thing for the two of us to do together and Lulu had been she said to me when I got angry with her she said you never do anything with me you're always working and so I just go and lie in my room and she's right so um, I think I'll put something like that there to cover up that faux pas and so that's what we've been doing and I tell you what my husband cracked me up this morning he said to me I said I'm going out to get some more more vitamin D this morning and he said um, yes the sun is shining today he said you better get out there or you're going to be like a chicken in a hen house <laughs> because in Italy 
if you don't buy the organic chickens the chickens that you buy are brought up in the in those big chicken houses and they put a fake light on them to make them grow and they have no vitamin b and he said your bones will crush like a chicken crush like a chicken he said and i said oh great and then lulu told me i was red like a potato and i said no nope, i'm not red like a potato it's red like a tomato my dear so i don't know what's going on with my family oh look that pattern that pattern from my plastic doily kind of matches um tracy's pretty pattern that she's put in the background there you go so that's perfect it's very matchy matchy we'll put that there problem solved and I'm going to have that pocket there. I don't know what I'm going to put on it. Who knows? Okay, this is a good distraction. Very good distraction. I'm sure everything will be fine. I mean, it's, Singapore is not a third world country. So, yes, he'll be in good hands. Right. Okay, now I just I've reprinted these, so I've got no lines. Now what happened was I did a lot of printing, and I know um, now with the if you get the Eco Tank printer, the only thing is after you've been using it for a few months, you just need to realign it or do whatever. Um, you just press it's it's in the instructions. You just press this button, and it sort of oh I like that there. Um, you sort of realign it and. Um, you don't get the lines but the only thing is if you're doing a lot of printing you need to remember to do it every so every amount of printing prints that you do and um, and I had been doing it continually when I was printing out all this stuff and um, but obviously it printed the first lot, um, pages of Tracy's really well but then it got to the last prints and it might it must have needed another realignment so the, the I mean the good thing about the eco tank printer is that you you know your your ink lasts a while you can print a lot and so if it was my other printer i would have been even though i could do quite a bit with that one too um i would have been kind of annoyed about it because i knew what a waste of ink it's still a waste of ink but you know what i mean it's it's not the end of the world waste of ink so what am i going to do now i'm going to have i'm just going to be boring and do regular regular type pockets because I really need to get this project done because the deadline is near and I need to also um, get on with um, I need to get on with I'm wondering if I'd like to make it a double pocket um, or I'm wondering would I like to do something more snazzy 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 put that there no there's no point in that What's the point in that? Because um, I've got that bit there to I mean, I can cover it up with something like this. It's not a problem. It would actually look quite nice. Maybe I'll just do that, and then I'll, and then if I decide to put it another type, I'll just have to have a think about the pocket there. Oh no, I've ruined it. Ruined it. Was would have been nice. Well, we'll use a different one. It's telling me to use something different. That's what it's doing. Um, and then I can, I've got a time to decide what I'm going to do. I mean, if this was my original coffee dyed paper, I would be very precious about it. Very precious. So I hope everybody's well. Um, don't have too much going on except for my early morning swims and these new digis okay so that's there now i need to go where's tracy's folder yeah like you know where it is i don't i did recently purchase this one what's this one called tracy nature snippets i think it might be called and i absolutely love this i'd like to put this somewhere and i love the envelopes as well it's all gorgeous um, so I'm just thinking, what do I want to do here? I mean, you could write there. Wouldn't it be nice to write there? Maybe I could create a flip out. Maybe I could create a flip out or something. Um... Oh, I heard a noise. Um, 
or a pocket? Pocket or flip out? That's the million dollar question. That one's crooked. I won't use that one for this. That's a single page. I think I like, I really like this paper quite a lot. That covers that up, doesn't it? So now I might need it. I think I'll create a flip out. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use one of these. I was just I thought I had used one of these no I didn't I used one of the um, the other ones that are similar so I need to create a background okay right oh that's going to be super pretty and I just need a background for it See this. Would this be too busy? Might be nice if, if I'm thinking if I put, if I put, if I put um, some fabric behind it as well. Okay, so this is my size. Why don't I, to make my life easy for once, why don't I just uh, grab a pencil. Mm. Don't want to get in the film. So I think my bones are thanking me for going in the sun a little bit. Oh, that's what I wanted to say today when we're leaving the beach. We're, I mean, we literally got there at um, quarter past eight, and the water's so nice at that time of the day because there's not many people and they haven't been, um, you know making it become all murky and gross it's all transparent and lovely and um and it's nice and cool and it's just lovely time of the day to go to the beach and um and we come home we leave at 9 20 we're at the car and so and you know the the italians are just arriving to the beach at that time and they're looking at us we've got our hair wet and you know they go to the beach and change their swimsuits every five seconds because they can't have a wet swimsuit Aussies just go home with sand on their feet and their wet swimsuits and have a shower when you go home or you I mean you have a shower at the uh, beach but in front of everybody it's not like a private shower or anything like that um, and so and the, the, this lady <laughs> was arriving at the beach with her husband and just staring at us <laughs> and I wanted to say to her do I have something on my nose <laughs> why are you staring at me and i think she was staring at us thinking why are they leaving the beach already what what are they doing <laughs> lulu even knows she's like that lady staring at us mum. they're probably thinking because we're speaking english i'm probably thinking weirdos widow tourists leaving the beach at 9 20. well i'm well known for that here like not i'm i'm well known for going to the beach like at 5 30 go there go at 5 30 when it's not as hot and just in time for a pre, an aperitivo a pre-dinner pre drink so anyway i thought you know summer is so short here and um i thought we should enjoy a little bit of it just a little bit we don't want to exaggerate This is my go-to at the moment. Now, what did I use here? I didn't use that there. I also put a little bit of the, the coffee dyed across the top of... Where do I... I've lost my image now. Where's the image gone? Hello? Image, where have you gone? Did I move you away somewhere? Oh, oh. Where's it gone? Hello? Can't find... Oh, here it is. Here. I put it across the top of that. I don't think I'm going to do it in this case. I know I'm covering up a lot of the background, but I don't want too much of the background. I just want a touch of it. And um, I do think I would like a little piece of this. Or, or, I've got lots of this. I think Joyce sent me this. Joyce? Did Joyce send it to me? I've got this. 
That's oh, I think I'm going to put that one. That's what I love these for. I need my scissors. I, put, I keep putting everything away. Isn't that wonderful? Everything. I wait. I come in here in the morning, and the whole table is clear. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. A lady. I don't know if she's Portuguese or she could be Brazilian because I think they speak Portuguese in in um, Brazil. Um, so on my room cleanup, she wrote me a kind of not very nice comment. Um, but I actually found it quite funny. Um, she wrote, I just want to ask your opinion more than, not about the comment, well kind of about the comment but not, you'll see what I mean. So basically she, she wrote, um, oh my, what a mess. Uh, and then she wrote with exclamation marks, I deleted the comment. Uh, I delete anything that irks me. Um, anyway, she, and then she wrote, normally people show their craft room people who show their craft rooms because um, i translated it um, you, normally people who show their craft rooms show neat and tidy and clean craft rooms so <laughs> i would nearly write well did you see at the end i did tidy it but obviously for her it was it was still a mess um, but what i, I had i just made me think about that because yes of course i i, I directed a lot of you to the clutter fairy because, but not because you had have to emulate her. Um, sorry, I'm stitching. Did anybody notice? Not because you have to emulate her craft room. I directed you there also because, uh, sorry, there are good um, solutions to, she has lots of ideas for storing things. So I thought that was good. And I've been watching a few of her videos and stuff. I don't think I did anything that she suggested, but um, I had because I was hoping for some ideas. Now, I watched her before and after of her little area where which is her office and stuff like that and um, and it's wonderful and uh, however it's all perfect and color coordinated and it's not cluttered and I was thinking are those rooms real crafting rooms that is my question what does everybody think so those rooms that you see those perfect craft rooms are they are they just cleaned up and perfect like that for the video or are they really like that it just made me think about it see i like that it just really made me think about that um in the sense that i can't imagine myself i am a messy person but i can't imagine myself being able to maintain a room like that and for me to achieve that look i would have to have a third of the stuff that I have and I need all of my stuff I need that when I'm crafting so I can't imagine I couldn't think how I could possibly have a room like that and I was trying to my when I started out I was thinking I want a room like that I want a room like um, the clutter fairies room maybe I do too many different crafts because I sew and although I haven't done much sewing lately but I do sew and I paper craft now that's a new thing for me maybe I, it's not possible for me to to have less stuff in my room and have that perfect per, no I need to put more glue have that perfect um, you know all color coordinated no clutter anywhere room I, I mean my room is small too but that helps I don't know I just wondered what everyone's thoughts were do you think those rooms are real craft rooms I don't know I don't know they just look like you know they've come out of a magazine to me i don't know that was just just made me think about it that's all um i i don't know i can't imagine uh you know really people crafting all the time being able to have a room like that so i just wanted to know everybody's thoughts about it so you feel free to comment down below you can say yes you're a disastrous mess or no i think it would you know it might be impossible to maintain a room that is like out of a magazine so oh well my friend well she's a bit of a fair weather friend to be honest my ceramic friend um she her room is it's um it's not all sterile well, I find those rooms a bit sterile, the ones that are all perfectly color coordinated and white and something else and 
mm, yeah I do I, to be honest personally that's my personal choice um, my friend has a perfect craft room mind you it's about uh, six times bigger than my room and yes it's about six times bigger than my room and um, she has lot she's able to put lots of furniture in there and she has like all of her granny's um, furniture from the 50s or maybe 40s or 50s that she repainted all white and so it's all and it's and her place is beautiful it was designed by an architect and stuff like that so um, it's very beautiful that is the only one craft room I've ever met seen met um, that is perfect but she's a perfectionist she's also an architect so she and she's a perfectionist so she would have a perfect area I'm not a perfectionist so it's not possible for me and I like things I like I like pretty things to be around me I like to see them everywhere if I had more surfaces I'd put I'd buy more things but I don't have I don't have space for lots of stuff so I don't I don't buy a lot of decorative sort of items if you know what I mean I'm just blabbing on just making conversation while I go um, probably haven't gotten very far in this video probably time to end it off in a minute what time is it 502 have to go and get Lulu soon um, so oh dear we'll have to have another I'm probably going to send this these things out right at the last minute I might do my might choose my numbers today so I know where I'm sending them they'll take forever to arrive because oh that's another thing uh, guys you're going to have to be patient because I've noticed um, so the orders that you know the big orders where there's where I have ship been able to ship using the courier in inverted commas because when I say courier in theory it's supposed to arrive super fast but in actual fact in reality it arrives a bit faster than the other way but not much um, however it's trackable okay so um, so the I have noticed because um, there are th some things I sent out when did I send them a long time ago uh, even with the tracking number and they have literally sat at customs in America yes customs in America for I'm going to tip this in with washi tape I think isn't that pretty and that will flip out like that um, yes they've been sitting in customs in America uh, how long did I tell you Maria um, oh two two weeks two and a half weeks left Italy straight away um, and has been sitting in customs in America um, it's cleared customs her parcel but uh, imagine the other parcels just a minute I'm going to stitch the ones that are shipped with the regular priority post they they will be taking a month to write and when I say a month I mean working days not the weekends you can't just count the date you have to count mo only Mondays to Fridays because on the weekend nothing happens so yes the orders are taking a long time to arrive at the moment and this is um, I believe new um, the post office I was speaking in my post office and they said yes um, the customs has slowed down with the new things going on in America um, and so they've slowed down everywhere because uh, in the United States they slow things down you know they're saying no no wait this this and this and then that means it slows down at the other end as well so um, um, the reason why I say you're gonna have to wait a fair while is because uh, I recently well about a month ago um, a client had said that her parcel hadn't arrived and she had ordered something else so I said well I'll just cover the cost and I'll ship it I'll ship your new parcel out by with the courier so we don't have to worry about it getting lost or anything like that and um, and I had just shipped it literally that morning and she contacted me and told me hers had arrived so you know I can't afford to do that obviously for you know every five seconds so um, I'm going I have to say I'm, be I'm very sorry about it. it's out of my control but we just have to wait a minute to see um, if they arrive now you've got to count at least I mean they used to arrive in 10 days guys this is how much it's slowed down since the new things in the States 
not new things i don't want to say anything else because it's not my business i'm not american um but the new things in the states have slowed it down for everybody because obviously um if there are new policies imposed on f other countries then they 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 say right back at you and they do it back so um unfortunately who suffers us us little ladies that want our stuff we're suffering the consequences of it all so isn't that pretty i like it I don't know if I should cover up that page too. No, I think I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I like that though. Well, it got a little bit of um, puffy air in it. That's all. Does it matter? Doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. No recording. No, no. I've been gas bagging all this time. Well, I don't even know. I can't see. How long have I been here for? Oh, only 35 minutes. I say it's because I've tried to record like this is the third time. Because first my mum rang me and I was a little way into my video and then um i uh, i was feeling a bit concerned so i sent a message to my sister-in-law and um and um this is my funny brother um you know the bingo wings now i hope i didn't offend anybody about the bingo wings because um i have bingo wings <laughs> i hope nobody was upset about that story i thought it was funny um I wonder if I, I think I would like that there. It's very botanical. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to make sure, I just sent them a message and then she rang me. So I had to stop my video again. So I just thought I'll start from scratch. I'm not going to mess about with attaching a million videos together. It takes forever. Okay. Oh, just to say, oh, there, now it's a doorbell. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, I'm back again. Um, I just don't seem to be able to get this video done today. It's just not happening. So I'll just um, quickly, um, yeah, I glued that down and the doorbell rang. It was my mother-in-law and her sister and um, I had to do something to help them. So um, I now need to go and pick up Lulu in a minute. So I don't think uh, I'll get much done. I've just got to keep an eye um, on the time i'm sorry i'm a bit distracted today it's just oh 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 i just saw these just a minute oh that's going to be upside down that's not going to be any good is it um oh but i've got that one no i think it'd be too small i was thinking of putting that there but maybe i'm changing my mind i must keep an eye on the time guys because madam will be there at the pool waiting for me to come and pick her up and she'll be eaten by mozzies and she won't be happy i'll be in trouble i'm wondering whether i might like to put this i might not i might i might not okay uh, yet again another day has flown by one distraction after another and I where am I nowhere no I think it's too small I like something bigger I think I would have liked to have used something like that but um, it's, oh what about one of these I don't want to cover up that nice script that I put there though although I could have it sort of floating but I think it's all too much tone on tone this is what I think is hindering me here no, it's too tone on tone. I'm going to use this, but I need to um, I need to stitch around. Oh, now I've got the wrong thread because I had to do something for my mother-in-law. I won't do that now, but what I'll do is I'll collage it. And this will be a pocket. The other one's a flip out. This will be a pocket. And what am I going to collage it with? Who knows? This is the million dollar question. Okay, let me see. I don't want to go to too too beigey but all of the things that i have of tracy's are in those colors so i'm thinking oh i could put a background down maybe something like that it's a bit darker that's what i'll do i'll put a background down and then i'll put some she's got those pretty colorful botanicals and i'll put those there i've just shaken my thing so let me just um This is, I'm finding this is the easiest way for me at the moment. I just tear it slightly in from my wobbly line. So that way I, um, 
I can see it very quickly. I'm not doing any measuring, just making sure it's a little bit smaller. Good thing I'm only preparing salad tonight. Salad and buffalo mozzarella. And oh, and then we've got some sort of cured meat that not cured meat, you know, like a prosciutto y sort of thing that um, Steffi's cousin makes. So it's, it's you know, it's organic. And um, yeah, just that sort of stuff. Quite a light dinner tonight. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to glue that down. Just going to go with it and then see what happens. I need to add some colour. Really, I, I, I thought I shouldn't be recording today. Today is not the day. And here, they, this is testimony. Interruptions, uh, many interruptions and just sort of fumbling about really. Just checking it's recording because, you know, I have a habit of things not ha working out for me. And now let me see here in these uh, lovely Tracy goodies. There's plenty of, where's the other flowers? I even like these tags. Attach a pretty tag there, no. And then let me just check over here because there's some other stuff over here. I've spread Tracy every, Tracy's everywhere on my desk. She's everywhere, you're everywhere Tracy. I like that one, I'll just keep that one near. Then otherwise I've got these things, um, some Tracy labels. I'm sure they're meant to go on this envelope, but you know me. Don't follow the rules. Put that over there, over there, over there, over there. I don't think I'm going to put a lady because that's not what this one's all very um, botanical, this this booklet. And they are, well, I've got those, no. Oh, I like those. Um, but they might be too big. Okay. And the other thing I liked was this one. These are just gorgeous. I might have to go, I might have to show you this done. I think you've been ripped off today guys good thing you're not paying me to do the videos because otherwise i'd feel really bad well i feel a little bit bad anyway but i'd be feeling even more bad worse more bad is not a real word worse Well, I like that. That's lovely. Yes, that's it. That's going to be it. So I will finish this and then I'll show you tomorrow. I need to make a little bit. I need to decorate the inside of the other one as well. This is a very long winded process. So I'll join these videos together and um, and that's all you get today. I'm sorry, guys. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow with some semblance of finishing them off. But we'll do some of it together. And... Um, and that way you get to see that if you want to watch it you don't have to you can fast forward if you want okay so yes i'll continue with that later i've got to go and get my daughter and then well i don't have to do too much for dinner so thank you for putting up with me today i've been on and off and i will be back tomorrow bye